Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Wow. Well that wasn't what I planned to say. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing some cooking. In order to make a recipe, you are going to need a kitchen. Mine's a fucking shit tip, get the hell over it. You will also need some ingredients. I will just put the picture in there because I took a photo of them before I opened them all up and used them and stuff. In order to make a recipe, you will also need to decide what exactly it is that you want to eat. I decided that I wanted to make some chocolates, like the kind that you buy in like boxes of chocolates. Um, so for my recipe, I am using some chocolate, which I have broken up into a bowl ready to uh, melt in just a few moments and creamed coconut as you can see it's already open because I've already mixed it up you add some hot water to it it says 400 ml on the box um, but that's to make like really watery um, coconut milk um, but I wanted really thick kind of coconut gloop really um, in order to make this recipe work because this stuff is going to be the bulk of the filling of your chocolates if you don't like coconut, this probably isn't a great recipe for you because it uses coconut and it kind of tastes coconutty. In addition to that, I added about a dessert spoon of cocoa powder to the creamed coconut and then I stirred it a lot with some boiling water in, melted it all off, obviously, and it looked like this. If you're not already sweet enough, because I'm not, you can put some sugar in there to sweeten it to your own preferred taste. If you added too much water to it, you can get it to thicken with some corn flour. But other than that, this is going to be the filling of our chocolates. The only thing is, obviously, this is still quite hot. It needs to cool down to a point where it starts to solidify again, because that coconut will start to solidify the cooler it gets. Um, so this is going to go in the fridge until it's more solid, and then we're going to come back and roll it in some melted chocolate. It's pretty simple really, but you know what, let's make a whole video on it, because why not? Oh, also for this tutorial you will need a pair of glasses if you can't see properly without them. You will need an apron unless you want to get your clothes covered in crap. And if you're reaching things off the top shelf, a decent pair of platforms would also not go amiss. My ones have got undead unicorn skeletons on, but don't worry, we will be using the skin and the entrails in a future recipe. So I had a bit of a check of the chocolate and it still wasn't solidifying so I've just put it um, in a pan and I'm just going to reduce it by heating it up and evaporating some of the water off of it um, to try and get it to thicken up a little bit more. Because hey, this is actually what happens when you're actually cooking things and haven't rehearsed it a million times to make a cooking show. We're all about the realism here. So after a while, enough of the uh, water will evaporate that it'll start looking a lot more solid. At this point, you can take it off the heat, put it back in the jug, put it in the fridge to solidify a bit more so that you can actually roll this into balls to put your melted chocolate around. While we're waiting for that, why not have a lot of vodka? That'll make cooking more fun. So wouldn't you just know it, the sunshine has just come out to spread its stupid sunshineness everywhere. So we've got our uh, block chocolate, we're just going to put that in the microwave for a couple of minutes, get it to melt a bit, and then roll our other chocolate in it. While you're waiting for your chocolate to melt, you could run a campaign to be the President of the United States. I hear they'll let anybody do that this year. Alternatively, you could have more vodka. If the chocolate takes a particularly long amount of time, you could have more vodka then run for president and you've probably still got a better chance than the main two candidates. Ding! Let's not burn the chocolate, let's not burn the chocolate. Melted chocolate. Maybe just gonna let that cool for a few seconds. Also, I'm gonna need to find a better place to put the camera for this because you're not gonna see what I'm doing if you stay where you are. Move. Move the camera. This is the bowl with the chocolate in. And this is the jug with the other stuff in. Before we do anything else, I'm going to put some um, greaseproof paper out to actually put our finished chocolates on. It kind of looks like tracing paper, um, but it's not. 
but it is also known as ba but it is also known as baking paper. Right, so that's there. We're ready to put our chocolates on. Now this is where it's about to get a little bit messy. I'm going to take my wedding ring off because I don't want to give these chocolates to somebody and have them think that I'm proposing to them for some kind of lots of lo lesbian happily ever afters. That would be super awkward if I didn't particularly like the person involved. So let's get some of this chocolate. Ooh. It's so messy. And I should be able to roll it in a ball. That hasn't exactly worked. I think this chocolate might need longer to cool. We'll come back to this in a few minutes and hopefully by then the sun will have made his mind up as to whether it's going out or coming in so that I can pick some damn camera settings and it's not too dark or too bright. I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so that took way longer than I thought, like that took about two hours for the damn stuff to solidify which was kind of annoying so I was expecting it to take a few minutes like it did last time when I was playing around with this stuff. So, I've got it now. Ooh, it's not spilling. So now what we're going to do is mould it into circles and dip it into some melted chocolate. So we get some of this out of the jug and you see now it kind of rolls a bit more as well. And I'll just put that fork down over there and the shade this time until it doesn't. Should make us a nice rolly chocolate ready to go hard. Look at that. Right, I'm going to do the rest of these and see how they turn out, but first I need to wash my hands. Woo! Oh, this time it's personal. So, I'm going to get my spoon. Got myself a nice amount of the chocolatey stuff. There is one slight problem with this, which is that before you can get the coconut stuff in there, the chocolate kind of melts the coconut stuff so it kind of comes apart a bit. I'd better hurry up and make these before that time of the month arrives. You know, the one that we used to be able to mention on YouTube and now we're not allowed to because otherwise if we choose to absence our stuff later on down the line, we're suddenly not allowed to, so I'm not really gonna mention it, but you know, that time of the month. Yeah, we need chocolate, damn it. Okay guys, I just want to show you the um, chocolates that I've made. Um, I decided that I would make three because then I can eat three of them. I think you will agree with me when you see the finished product that I am domestic goddessing like a boss today. All right there guys, that is what culinary genius actually looks like. These are my amazing, delicious, finished chocolate truffles ready to go in the fridge and harden. I think Mr. Ferrero and Mr. Roche are gonna be out of a job really soon. And while I'm waiting for the helicopters to arrive to take me to my new life as a master chocolatier, I'm gonna go drink some more vodka and possibly run for president. Cause wouldn't you like someone who can cook like this to be running your country? I'm not even American, but I'm pretty sure that that wouldn't actually count against me this year. Anyway, now I've alienated all my viewers and anybody who happened to just stumble on my channel and is thinking, why God, why am I here? Yeah, thank you very much for watching. I will be back at some point in the future with more sarcastic commentary on things that normal people can do perfectly fine and I can't seem to manage. Enough said. I'm gonna go back to drinking the vodka now. I think it's closer to my true life's purpose than making chocolates. <laughs> Dreams shattered. <laughs> No, seriously though. Right, thanks for watching and I will see you again in a future video where I might actually finally get it together enough to do that Supergirl tutorial that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. This chocolate on the side of my face is now setting to hard. I need to go find like a sponge or a dog that can lick it off or maybe a boy or something, I don't know. 
What do people usually use to get rid of chocolate when it's on their skin? This is a very long ending. I am going to leave now. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, subscribe if you want to see more randomness. Bye.